Hey y'all, it's your girl Jazz Tati and I'm back at it again with another video. Father God, I pray that you take control. I pray that you have your way in this video. I pray that those who are listening, Father God, take heed to your word. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear, Father God. Those who have eyes to see, let them see exactly what's going on in the spiritual realm, Father God. Give us spiritual ears, Father God, that are tuned to you, Father God, and give us spiritual eyes, Father God, that see exactly what's going on. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Cover this word under your blood in Jesus' name, and it is so. Lord, I just want to tell you guys, I have been seeing and hearing the word fast all day long today. Like, I'm not kidding. And actually, yesterday, I was supposed to release a video yesterday, but I was just like, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe not. But it basically had fasting in it, too. Like, we were supposed to be fasting. Like, definitely, I'm supposed to be fasting. But I want to call on a corporate fast. Um, for some of you who don't know, Marcus Rogers also has called on a corporate fast. He's fasting Sunday. There's going to be a ton of people that are fasting Sunday. And it's something about unity of fasting that when you do it together, it just <laughs> breaks the chains of the enemy. It, it dismantles his tactics, whatever he's doing. It destroys principi principalities in the air. You know what I'm saying? So I want us to fast and I want us to fast the way that you want to fast, period. If you fast for 30 minutes and just set aside some time to pray and fast and that's all the time you have, God will honor it. If you fast for six hours, if you fast for two hours, if you fast even beyond Sunday, like God will honor it. Just do how you want to do it. If you fast for 30 minutes every other day, you get what I'm saying? Fast how you, the Spirit is telling you to fast. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, how do you want me to fast? Okay? I just want you guys to participate in this corporate fast because when we come together, it literally just punches the enemy's kingdom and punches Satan right in his face. You get what I'm saying? There have been a lot of things going on with this presidential election. So one of the things that I want us to be fasting for is that God's truth prevails, period. That God's truth comes out pertaining to the presidential election of the United States of America, in the name of Jesus, we just want God's truth to prevail. We don't want the enemy to get not a hand, not nothing on us. You know what I'm saying? We don't want the enemy to win. He's not, he's a loser. You get what I'm saying? We don't want him to win because we're not doing what we're supposed to do in the body of Christ. And we are supposed to fast and pray. The Bible says when you fast and pray, not if you fast or pray. So... I also want to bring 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. It says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Okay, now that land doesn't have to necessarily represent the land of America. You get what I'm saying? Or wherever you're from. It could represent your heart. It could represent the land where your business is at. It could represent the land of your marriage, the foundation of your marriage. Any land that that is, God will heal that if you will humble yourself. Fasting humbles yourself. You get what I'm saying? And I also want to point out that Ahab, when Elijah confronted Ahab in 1 Kings chapter 21, guess what he did? Because the Bible describes Ahab as the most wickedest king. There's, there was no king that was more wickeder, I made that word up, than Ahab. There was no king that was that was just more wicked than King Ahab and Jezebel because he was, whoa, he sold, the Bible says he sold himself to wickedness. As soon as Elijah, the prophet of God, came to him and said, hey, y'all about to be destroyed, period, all y'all destroyed. Guess what he did? He humbled himself. He fasted and he prayed. And when he did that, God answered him. And he said, because you have done this, I will not bring destruction to you, but your kids going to have it. Okay? The deeds of the parents fall on the children. That's not a joke. So let's fast and pray for God's truth to prevail. Let's fast and pray for the scales to fall off, even of those prodigals. If you guys have prodigals that are still not budging or nothing, none of that. It could be a spirit. It could be a principality. It could be anything that is keeping them held up in bondage. That is keeping them from seeing the truth of who you are. You get what I'm saying? Who, If it's your wife, if it's your spouse, whatever. You can fast and pray and it will make a difference in their life. Because fasting and praying is spiritual. And when you fast, it's telling your flesh you're not in control. It's telling your flesh, no, you're not my God. God is my God. I, Because man is not supposed to live by bread alone, okay? But by every word, okay, of Jesus Christ, of God. That's it. 
So when you fast, I just want you guys to understand that it's telling God like you are in control. You take control. I don't I don't even need to eat this food. I don't need to drink this water. Or if you want to drink water, you can go on a water fast. If you want to um do a dry fast, do a dry fast. Whatever it is that you're doing, but I just encourage you guys to turn your plates away and drink water or dry fast. That's what I say. Turn your plates away completely and just drink water or don't do nothing for a period of time and pray. Okay? So I just want you guys to really, really, really take heed. For those of you who know that God has been urging you to fast, we're going on a corporate fast. Okay? I'm Eastern Standard Time, so Sunday is probably started already for me. Yeah, it's 1141 right now. Um, so as soon as 12 o'clock hits, that'll be Sunday. I'm going to pick my time of when I'm going to fast. You get what I'm saying? And I encourage you guys to join in on this fast. Okay? I also want to um, give you one more example. Jonah chapter 3. The people of Nineveh believed that what Jonah had said about how they're going to be destroyed in 40 days. And guess what they did? The king. They didn't even believe in God. They, they served other gods. But guess what? They fasted and they prayed and God spared the whole city. He spared the whole city, okay? So let's not take it lightly. Let's, let's give God his credit. Let's fast and pray like we're supposed to. Let's stand in the gap for America. You know, I'm living in America right now, so I definitely want God's truth to prevail. And let's stand in the gap for our spouses. Let's stand in the gap for our prodigals. Let's stand in the gap for our businesses. Let's stand in the gap for everything that God has for us. Let's stand in the gap for our blessings, okay? Let's fast and pray for everything, for everything to come down in the name of Jesus. For everything that the enemy has stolen to come down. Let's fast and pray against every word curse that was spoken. Let's, let's give God this battle through fasting and praying. Because we can't win this battle. Okay? We can't win the battle of our prodigals. We can't win the battle of our finances coming down. We can't even get, we can't get the wealth transfer without God being in control. So let's, let's say, God, you're in control by denying our flesh the satisfaction of eating. That's exactly what, that's humbling yourself. You're turning away. You're not, you're not like, no, I'm going to eat. God going to take care of it. So, or whatever. You get what I'm saying? You're humbling yourself so that God can be exalted. Because when you humble your flesh, your spirit is exalted. And God is the one that placed the spirit within you. Okay. It's his spirit that dwells within us. So when you turn, when you Put your flesh down. When you resist your flesh, your spirit rises up. Okay? The spirit of God within you rises up. And that's what we want to prevail right now. God's truth. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you guys hear this word. You know what I'm saying? For those of you who feel the unction to fast, we're going on a corporate fast tomorrow. I'm joining Marcus Rogers on this fast. I urge you guys to join. No matter how you guys feel, if you guys don't even agree with this man, you can still fast for other things that you are desiring because there's going to be thousands of people that are going to take part in this fast. And I just believe that it's going to bring your promise even quicker. You know what I'm saying? Add, add other things that you want to this fast. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to only pray for the United States, for the presidential election, for the truth to prevail. Just ask God, what else am I supposed to be fasting for? Some of you guys can fast for closeness to God. You know what I'm saying? Just add to your list. God, God, God will hear you. He said, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves, okay, pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. God wants to heal us, but are you willing to be humble? So I pray that this has encouraged you guys and let's do it. Let's do it. I'm looking forward to great testimonies, okay? In Jesus' name I pray, hallelujah.